How would you summarize your off season so far, Ben? Uh, I think I think it was very solid. Um, I obviously was a little limited with my shoulder, but I uh, I think I exploited or did the things that I could like to the fullest of my capacity. When you look at that quarterback room, not just Will, but some of those younger guys, how exciting is it for not just Will, but for the future as well? I think it's really exciting. I mean, we got a lot of talent and a lot of talent in those young guys. So I think it's good for the program and it'll be really good for that quarterback room, having that competition to push each other every day and kind of just go at it. We've seen some of those pictures of Will in the offseason. He looks like he's about just as big as you. Yeah. Um, what kind of work have you seen him put in to get better this offseason? Oh, he's put in a ton of work, um, especially in the weight room, obviously, you guys have seen. Um, but he's such a hard worker. And I mean, every day he comes and attacks what's in front of him. So it's just kind of how, how he is. So With the tight ends coupled with the wide receiver room, what's the capabilities of this offense for the season? Uh, I don't think there's any limitations. I think um, I think it could be pretty special. Uh, we've been working really hard, and I mean, we got a, a bunch of good receivers now too, and we got some tight ends who can really play. So I'm really looking forward to it. Given that you guys did lose some of your primary receivers from last mm -hmm. season, do you think that opens up some opportunities for you? And are you putting any extra pressure on yourselves to be more of a receiving threat this this season? Um, I think it'll open up some opportunities, sure. But I know, I mean, we got Keegan and we got some, some guys who didn't get a ton of time last year that have been making a lot of plays in spring. So I think just overall we're going to be very solid. I wouldn't say I it put any more pressure on myself. Um, I'm just going to go out and tag it and play to what – or like do to – play to where I can and um, take advantage of opportunities that do come. How helpful was it to have Phil back just – as a in the wide mm. receiver room, as a as a guy who's been around forever and knows mm -hmm. pretty much everything in the offense. I think that's huge, especially I, I know we got like a, a lot of receivers that came in this uh, January. So having that uh, veteran guy in the room who's been here and kind of knows how things work to kind of bring the younger guys along and show them uh, kind of how we do things is really big for the receiver room. Who are some of those younger guys that uh, might not have heard so much about, like Xavier Lloyd, Sterling Lockett, and more? Mm -hmm. I think definitely uh, XL has been really good for us. Um, Sterling's been really good. Um, Chase Brown has had a lot of flashes here. Uh, I would say um, I, I can't think of a ton right now, but they've been looking really good. RJ's been really good in the spring, obviously. Um, but yeah. Who's impressed you at tight end while you've been sitting back and watching a little bit more than usual? Uh, I think the biggest one that surprised me and the, the guy that's came the longest is definitely Garrett Oakley. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's got a real shot at, at like getting a lot, get some, getting some snaps this fall, and that'll just come with um, the more he puts on weight and the more he starts to understand our scheme. And then definitely Will Swanson. He's, he's made a lot of progress this spring, and he's going to be a really good player for us. How has the position kind of evolved with uh, under Coach Klein? It seems mm -hmm. like less emphasis on the on the true fullback. Yeah, I mean it's the tight end position has expanded drastically under Klein. Um, we're getting a lot more involved in the pass game and just being able to not really come out of the game if just learn if you're able to do the the. The, the needed fullback stuff, the small needed fullback stuff that we need. So it, it's really expanded our role and allowed us to not really have a need to come out of the game and stop when there's a whistle and stuff like that. So it's been really good for us. Coach Kleiman said you have All-American potential. How does mm -hmm. it feel to have that sort of praise from him? Uh, it, that's really big, and it, it means a lot coming from a guy like him. But it's, it's something to definitely think about, but definitely – it's I don't dwell on it. Um, I'm going to come day by day and worry about what I got to do that day. And um, things will take care of itself for sure. Starting where you were when you first got here mm -hmm. to now, how does it, how's it feel to hear that, knowing the, the humble beginnings? Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's huge, um, obviously, because I walked on here. And uh, it just means a lot knowing the work and the time, the work, the time, the effort, and the, the sweat really, uh, it's coming together. and. It's, it's really big and it means a lot for me. And then did you ever take a moment to realize how special it is to have the O-line group that you do full of veterans? Mm, yeah, definitely. When I heard their comeback, I was super pumped, um, especially I think this is one of the deepest O-line groups that I've seen ever. So um, I'm really excited for that, and it means a lot. 
uh, it's with the with the young tight ends we're getting because we can talk to them, talk to those veteran guys, and uh, help understand what they're doing to help us. So.